Hi everyone, I'm Eamon Cagney. I'm a drummer, a musician, and I love telling stories. Today, I'm going to put the two of them together. This is a story about drumming. It's called Eamon and his magical drum. During the story, you're going to see lots of drumming and I'm going to be playing the drumming and you might see more than one or two drums even at a time in some places. So look out for that. And if you like, you can join in, you can dance, you can clap, you can do whatever you like. So if you're ready, let's start. Eamon and his magical drum. Eamon lived on his own at the foot of a hill. He really loved music and he really loved drumming. The thing was though, he could only play one beat on the drum. No matter how hard he tried, no matter how much practicing and trying to do other beats, he wasn't able to do them. So if he would be getting together with his friends, he would always play just one beat. If he was listening to music and playing along, he would just have one beat to join in with. If he was joining in with musicians or going to the park or going down to the beach with his drum or going up the mountains with his drum or going into the woods with his drum, he always just had one beat. It was the only beat he would play. And this is it. And it's a cool enough beat. I like it. And if he was playing it, people would be into it for a while. And, and then maybe his friends would say, do you know this song? Let's do the beat to this song. And he wouldn't be able to do it. He would just play his normal beat. And people would be like, mm, it's not really the right beat for that song. And then they'd be like, oh, do you know this song? Let's do the beat for this song. And he would just be able to do the same beat that he always does. And they'd be like, mm, no, that, that's not the right beat. But that was okay. One day, he got a call on the telephone. Ring, 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 picked it up. Hello. It was the local nightclub owner. And he was saying, Eamon, we're really stuck for someone to play in the nightclub tonight. We've no DJ. We've no band. We've nobody to play any music. It's only you. Would you be able to come, bring your drum and play your beat? Eamon was like, oh, okay, I mean, that, that's fine. I'll come and do it. But I only know one beat and that's it. The nightclub owner was like, yeah, that'll have to do. So can you come here later? He said, sure, of course I can. So Eamon got ready and as evening was falling and it was starting to get dark, he took his drum under his arm and he walked out the door and went up the hill beside his house. That was on the way to the nightclub. And as he was going up the hill, he looked over to his left and in the field over to his left, there was a little woodland and inside the woodland, there was a little the little man had red hair and he came walking right over to Eamon and he said, Hello Eamon, I hear you're off to the nightclub tonight and you're bringing your drum because you're going to play there. And Eamon said, Yeah, I am, but I'm a bit nervous, you know, because I only know one beat and that's only going to last me five minutes, maybe ten minutes tops. After that, people will get bored. And I don't know what I'm going to do. The little man said, Show me your drum there. And Eamon handed him the drum. And the little man took the drum and he started stroking his fingers over it just like that, really gently. And there was a kind of a magical atmosphere. And then he gave the drum back to Eamon and said, there you go now. Eamon said, what did you do? The little man with red hair said, well, tonight now when you go down to the nightclub, you're going to be able to play any beat you want, any beat, any beat you can think of, any beat you can't think of, and it might even sound like there's more than one person drumming. Eamon said, wow, that sounds amazing. Let me have a look at the drum. That's, did you do it? And he was just looking at it like that, wondering. And when he looked back, the little man was gone. He completely disappeared. Eamon started going, hey, where are you? Where'd you go? Ah. But there was no reply. The little man had completely disappeared. So that was fine. 
and he carried on walking along the road, didn't think any more about it, with his drum under his arm. And eventually he came to the nightclub and there was loads of people there and they were all waiting for him. And then the nightclub owner came up to him and said, oh, great, Eamon, you're here at last. Come on in. Here's a seat. Sit down. Start playing straight away, please. Eamon sat down and started playing his drum. And, of course, he played his usual beat. And that was going well, but, as you're going to see, it was even better than usual. And it sounded a little bit like there were other people playing too. So Eamon started with his usual beat. And you could hear a couple of extra sounds appearing. sounded like there was a bass drum being played with a stick and some other sounds too. The beat got really good and a shaker came in. Do you see the two shakers in the top corner? Everyone was delighted. They were like, yeah, well done. That was really cool. Great drumming, Eamon. And it sounded like there was more than one person playing. Play another one for us. At this point, Eamon's like, okay, well, I don't really know what I'm going to do now, but I'm just going to play. And he started playing. And he thought he was just going to end up playing the same beat as usual. But no, a totally new beat started to happen. Not only that, but it sounded again like there was more than one person playing. A brand new beat. But it sounded like there was other instruments yet again. to it for about 10 minutes. Then they said, play another one. He was like, okay, let's try. And this time he played like a slower, more groovy kind of hip hop beat. He didn't even know how he came up with it. And once again, it sounded like there was more than just Eamon drumming. Eamon was really happy with his new beat, his hip-hop beat. And then it got even better. Bass drum. And then a shaker joined in. But nobody could see it. Or the bass drum. And then even a conga drum. Dancing, making up beats, making up raps, making up dances, teaching each other new dances, having a good time. And this went on all night. He was playing loads of different beats. And near the end of the night, they said, Play one more beat for us, Eamon, please. He said, okay, this is my final beat. And he played a fast beat 
and everyone went crazy and everyone got up and danced and had a great time. Where did that bass drum come from? I can only see Eamon playing. Ah, and there's a shaker. I can't see anybody playing the shaker though. People were dancing, showing each other their moves going in a circle, people going into the middle, teaching each other new moves, having fun. And then they came to the end of the night and everyone was going home, cheering again. Thanks a million, Eamon. We hope you come again and play for us. And the nightclub owner came up and said, that was brilliant, Eamon. Will you come back and do that again? And Eamon said, sure, yeah, yeah, I will. Eamon put his drum under his arm and walked out the road, back up the hill. And then as he was coming down again, he had a look to see if he could see the little red haired man in the field again, in the woods. There was no sign of anybody. And then he walked all the way back down to the bottom of the hill, into his house and went to sleep. And from that day onwards, Eamon became the most popular drummer in Ireland. He got invitations to play all over the country. He used to go to Dublin, Belfast, Donegal, Sligo, Galway, Limerick, Kerry and Cork. And he lived a long life, got married, had a family and he always had the same drum. And he told a few people the story about the little red haired man. And people said, oh, so you got your drumming from the fairies. And then people were like, oh, that's Eamon. You know, he got his drumming from the fairies. He would always have his drum beside him. And when he was very old, the day finally came and poor Eamon died. He passed away very peacefully in his own sitting room beside the fire. And as soon as he passed away, his drum exploded into thousands of pieces and just into ashes all over the ground. And that was the end of Eamon and his magical drum. But some of his beats and rhythms are still around. Some of the ones you can hear on this video and you can hear in the background at the moment. So I hope you enjoyed this video, boys and girls. Girl, me the mic of Slan Gofold. See you again. different times in the story.